You need oars, 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 oars. Try to say that five times fast. But no, seriously, you need a lot of metal ingots, especially in the early and mid game, till you then later on get the ability to actually craft a higher tier metal ingots, right? You probably know that from other games or other survival games in general, where you're starting out with some iron ore and then you are going into the next tier. And here it starts at level 34, where you are getting the refined ingots. And then much, much later in the end game, you're getting the electric furnace where you are getting the pal metal. But till you get there, you need tons of ingots. Like you can see it right here. This is just a tier two handgun and I need 150 ingots alone. And that's just one gun. Leaving alone all the ammunition I have to craft, all the power bolts I want to craft, all the buildings and so on and so forth. You need so much metal ingots. So the biggest question a lot of people have right now is where can I get a lot of ore? And more importantly, how can I automate this whole process. Well, at the beginning where you don't really need that much, you're just running around with your trusty pickaxe and you are farming like all the ore you can find, right? Then you're running back to the base, you deposit it there, rinse and repeat. But at some point you realize that really sucks. How can I automate the process? Well, I have some bad news for you. Unfortunately, there is no automating process in the general sense, right? You're not putting down a building like the logging site or the stone pit or the crusher or something like that, which will then automate the process. Unfortunately, there has also no PAL, which will just produce ore, or at least I haven't really found any yet. But the thing is, there is no normal automated process to do that. Right, that might change later and I really hope the developers will put something similar into the game. But right now, there's none such thing. Okay, so wait, does it mean I have to run around like an idiot now and just farm the ore? No, there is a way on how you can automate the process. You just have to do a few things for it. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to unlock the ability to build a second PAL base, right? Like this is my first base. And then I build a second base over here. Why did I do that? Well, the answer is pretty simple because in this area right here, you can see there is a lot of iron ore and that is respawning every day. So what I did here is I built up a second base, put down some bats and put down some food. And then I brought a lot of pals over here, which are good at mining. And now they just mine all the iron ore 24-7. And the iron ore is also respawning every day. So there is enough for them to just produce enough ore. And then it will be put in a box here. I can just grab that. By the way, make sure that you have a box next to the teleporter so you can overload your inventory and you can still teleport. You cannot move anymore, but if you position yourself right, you can pick this all up, right? Still grab the teleporter and teleport back to your main base where you can just unload all the ore. But Wait a minute. Okay, so I'm putting down like all the pals. What do I have to look out for? So as I said, please make sure I screwed this up here, by the way, a little bit that you have all the metal ore in your base vicinity. As you can see here, I left some out and unfortunately my pals are not farming this. So I have to reshape the base a bit, but make sure you're doing it right then the next thing you really have to look out for is the pals you want to put down here have at least level two mining. They need level two. Level one doesn't do the trick. Of course, they can be level three and higher and all that, but they need to be at least mining level two. And the easiest one to do this is the Tombat. The Tombat is easy to catch even early on in the game, right? It's only like level nine, level 10, and you will find this little bugger at night and they're easy to catch. So you put down a lot of Tombats and they will do all the work for you, right? And then you still have a pal, which is also good at transporting, and then they can transport like all the stuff into the boxes. But this is how you mostly automate the process. like. This is the easiest way how I found out that you can do it. And it seems also to be the only way. 
As I said, if you still have some ideas on how to make it easier for your fellow pal catchers, do we have a term actually for what we are? Pal trainers? I think pal trainers works. Uh, let us know down below in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And also, if you're new to the channel, you might want to consider to subscribe for more Pal World videos and, of course, more RP games in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Stay safe, and I hope to see you next time.